What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And to the series of Terminator Resistance. Now, we last left off. We finished our scouting. Went back to Baron. John Connor appeared to save us, but he's called a stranger. But I know he's John Connor. And he buried himself inside the building that we were, you know, camping in with the group. And blew it up and caved it in on the infiltrator. Which was sick. And now she's sitting us down, Commander Baron is sitting us down to go investigate her communication system. It's the annihilation line under control. We got some time to prepare a counterattack. In the meantime, Commander Baron wants to check in on Alvin, who is downtown, doing maintenance work for our defense systems. Oh yeah, our defense systems as well. More wounded! We need a medic over here! I'm telling you, I saw something. What's, What's happening, happening Private? A couple of barrels flew in and dropped containers full of metals. They started shooting, shooting our defense, defense systems did nothing. nothing. What, what about the doctor? doctor? Where's, Where's Alvin? Alvin? He's, He's still, still out there. there. Alright, All right. There's, there's one, one more, more thing. thing. Before, Before I got, got hit, dragged here, I saw something. I'm not, not sure, sure, but I think, I think it, was it was one of our own soldiers, soldiers that landed in attack. Fuck, infiltrator. Open goddamn door, pilot. Sergeant, we're, we're outnumbered, outnumbered, and they, they keep, keep bringing, bringing more wounded. wounded. We, we don't, don't stand, stand a chance, chance. We, we have, have to, to evacuate. evacuate. Is, Is Alvin, Alvin still, still there? there? He is, sir. Then we're not leaving. We, we have, have to bring, bring him back and see, see what the hell, hell is going on with those defenses and brief Commander Baron on what's happening here. I'm, I'm moving out. You stay here with the wounded. wounded. You, you want me to break, break the radio, radio silence? silence? At this, this point, point, it doesn't, doesn't matter, does it? Understood. Go, Go ahead, sir. Seems like Detroit. You two follow me. We have to reach those defense systems. systems. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Up ahead. Oh, we have boys in the buildings with rockets, boys. This way! Good to see you, Sergeant. What's the status? We got a defensive perimeter set up just down the road. Doesn't, Doesn't seem to be working. Scott has dropped reinforcements down the back. Grenade! Alright, All right, we, we need to reach, reach our, our guys. guys. Let's, Let's clear the way. Shit. It's game over, man. It's game over. Fuck. Can't see him. Can't sound, sound, sound. Out of ammo. Buck shot. Okay. Here they come! Oh, wait a minute. We have ammo. We have ammo boxes. I ain't gonna lie, this thing's more effective, so I'm just gonna... They got ammo on them. Taking it. I think it was... Huh? Oh, it's... Did I... It's because I ran to the car with fucking fire on it? Was that it? Bodies are gone. Crap. T forty seven, watch 
grenade. Flick it! Pick up a smaller unit! I'm just gonna heal real quick. Serving with you boys. It's running. Dead boys. for it, boys.
Christ, fucking move! Turn it around! Right us. Don't, Don't look, look back! Good idea. idea! Get them little legs working, boy. advantages that we managed to gain is now lost. Downtown is gone and the annihilation line will continue to push forward. We need to prepare ourselves for whatever's coming. They've infiltrated our ranks, I'm telling you. You go talk to Commander Baron. I've had enough excitement for one day. Any of them. Thanks for getting us out of there, Sergeant. Any of them can be the infiltrator. Has to be you. The only one not talking or standing. Not you. You're doing a human motion. Rivers, you want to explain to me what the hell happened? We lost downtown. I know, I know that much. much. But, but how is that, that possible? possible? What, what happened, happened to our defense, defense systems? Alvin says one of our soldiers came with an order directly from you to reset the target settings for non lethals He said what? Uh, Alright, this is what I want you to do. Find whoever is responsible for sending that order. All the messengers have GPS tracking, so we're keeping tabs on their location. Find them and bring them to me. Understood. And Rivers, Despite, Despite what, what I might say about our resident egghead, I truly have a hard time believing that my men are incompetent. So expect the unexpected. Yeah, I'm expecting. And you know what I mean by that. An infiltrator. We won't be sure until you find those messengers. They said one of our own soldiers was leading the charge. What? One of our soldiers said that it looked as if one of our guys led Skynet's attack. That only supports my case. As soon as you know what's going on, radio me. Who's Perry? Who you mentioned me for. Perry the Platypus? The soldier I ever fought beside. He was the one who brought me into the resistance. It's actually a funny story. Years ago, when I was just a kid, I saw Skynet drone attacking some guy. Without thinking, I grabbed a rock and jumped on it. 
The guy was screaming the whole time while I beat the metal to the ground. Only when I was done did I realize he was trying to stop me. Kill the drone with a rock? Kill the drone with a rock? Uh, I was young and stupid. Thank God the drone wasn't really armed, otherwise I wouldn't be here to tell you the story. He was a resistance scientist, and that drone was one of his projects. So you can imagine he wasn't too happy when I smashed it to pieces. But he wasn't alone. There was this huge guy with a rifle on his shoulder, almost choking with laughter. I sure made his day. The huge guy. Yeah, Perry. The huge guy. Was that Perry? Perry the platypus? Commander Perry was in charge of this division before me. That scientist later told me that was the first time he ever heard Perry laugh. Somehow Perry and I connected. He taught me how to channel my anger and get it under control. He introduced me to Connor, and that's how I got to the 132nd. Whatever happened to Perry? Whatever, Whatever happened to Perry? Skynet got a hold of our position. We had to leave our shelter. There were a lot of casualties. He was one of them. He died so I never thought I'd be reminiscing about the day I met them. This may come as a surprise to you, but it was the first metal I ever destroyed. <laughs> First metal you destroyed it was one of ours. Not a good start. <laughs> the First metal you destroyed was one of ours. Not a good start. At that point, I didn't know that they could work for us, or that humans could work for them, for that matter. But that's a different story. You want me to break radio sites? They have a head start on us. At this point, we can't afford to lose any time. Uh Hunt season. Can't you ask Jennifer or one of the other scavengers for help? Huh. I already did, but they couldn't find anything. Just think about it, okay? Uh, why do that? Hey, are you alright? We just got the news about the attack. We're getting closer, aren't we? Hey, <laughs> glad to see you alive. Thanks for sticking your neck out for us. I wanted to tell you that, you know, just in case. You look like you would be a Terminator, not gonna lie. How did the Terminator get in without triggering the dogs? <laughs> I wasn't expecting to find you here. You always seem to be out these days. Yeah, that's true. Lately I've been making extra runs to stock up on resources. Truth is, I was even thinking about leaving. But right now, I'm just waiting for my team to head back to downtown to look for other survivors. Let's hope there still are some. I see that Patrick's doing better. He is. He's a fighter. Certainly has more courage than I do. Because you're avoiding him like the plague. Is there something on your mind? Actually, I have a secret to tell you. You have a fan. Patrick really looks up to you. It's good for him to have a role model. And I don't think he could have chosen better. Huh. I don't think I'd make for a good role model. <laughs> I never knew Jacob Rivers could be so coy. Be proud of your hero. The Resistance owes you a lot. And so do I. 
If you hadn't found us back in Pasadena, I don't know what would have happened. Well, actually I do. Exactly what the others said would happen. People were talking about the Annihilation Mine months before it came. Father, of course, tried to turn it all into a joke. I'm realizing it's not, but most of the videos, well, episodes on this, are going to have more dialogue than fighting, which I'm sorry about, but I kind of want the lore. I lied. I said that it wasn't. You could feel the mood change in the house. The community my father tried to build started falling apart. Fewer and fewer people were coming by. And if they did, they weren't always friendly. They started to notice things going missing. Little things at first. People got nervous, and with time, they even got to my father. That's super sad, but I didn't ask. What do you mean? Well, for one thing, he stopped making jokes. It had never been as quiet at the house as it had been back then. After a while, my father changed the sign from welcome to beware. He put a lock on the door. He started carrying a shotgun. I didn't even know he owned a gun. He always said he didn't believe in them. He wanted us to leave our house and run, but he didn't want to listen. Said it was the only place he could keep us safe. Thanks for letting me spill my guts like that. Huh. Why did you want to leave? Why did you want to leave? In the face of what's going on now, it will sound stupid, but... It just got to be a bit much, you know? With Patrick heard, I start to wonder if I'm even doing him any good by sticking around. I've been trying to protect him all this time, but I couldn't. I've proven that much already. First in Pasadena, then at our hideout. Okay, the hideout. I was thinking that maybe he's is it your fault? The shelter. But don't worry, I changed my mind since. Oh, the doggers are right here now. Whatever happened to that puppy we got, Patrick? Like, I'm curious now. Commander Baron wants me to find the team of messengers that gave the order that sabotage our defense systems. They are equipped with GPS trackers, and it seems they're keeping a lookout near the warehouse district area. Yeah. Keeping a lookout and... Not dead. What the hell are they doing here? Yeah, where's that main objective at? More plasma containers. Looks like Skynet's here for good. Mm -hmm. Why are there so many? I didn't even detect you guys. Oh, single strength stat, okay. At least the noisemakers will be useful a little bit later. Flamethrower. If I could get close enough to take a picture.
God, my eye is fucking up right now. Like, why? I gotta get some sleep for work tomorrow so if you guys like this episode leave a like comment subscribe I mean if you do subscribe then hit that notification bell as well because it will notify you whenever I go live or upload a video and I will see you all later bye bye